Alright guys, and here I'm just going to walk you through how to install and use the RSK RuneScape software. Um, so yeah, we'll move straight in. So I assume you've got the Discord link, in which case you need to come to the Discord and move to the Releases tab around here. You can then click on the download link up here. There's a virus total. If you would like to have a look at it, check it's safe, that's fine. And then you click on the download link. Then you can also see how many times it's been viewed, stuff like that. Um, then you just hit download. Then once it's downloaded, hit show in folder. Then you want to unzip it, so extract all. So this will take a moment and then it will be done. And what you want to do is go into the RS Combat file and then you just want to run it. Although it's before, since it's your first time running it, you will need to go into the config. And then obviously you have these um, things that you need to change and map to your specific client. So for all intents and purposes here, I'm just going to use Rotes PKZ because I don't want to log on to my... Like basically, I can't be bothered to get the name out, but anyway. Um, so then you just change it to... And it should be exactly how it appears. So if you put a Z there, it might not work, so I need to remove that. Change it to a small K. So again, come into here, get your F keys up. And they need to match, you need to get combat F1, inventory, so you just change it to B, I'll just move that in here, so you can see, inventory would be F2, pro would be F3, like so. Now this is really up to you, uh, the next part, and it really depends on how quick your internet is, how quick, the, which client you're using, because it really depends on the client speed as well. So these are the default values that you get given. Um, so yeah, we'll just use these for now, but um, I'd recommend spending some time to really, you know, have a play with these and see which works best for you. Um, these big values are in milliseconds, and this is just the slot speed. Um, you can increase it or decrease it to you know, make it as better as it is for you. Then you need to file save, close it, then you want to run the rscombat.exe. And obviously if you don't know or want some other guidance, you can read the guide. Um, it's not as up to date as it could be, but um, you know, there's a lot of things. So for example, you know, you need 32-bit Java, menus must not be set. So all the basic things that you need in order to run the program. So yeah. So we're gonna run RS Combat. Um, it will come up that Windows Smart Screen Printed Unrecognized App, you just need to run anyway. Um, yeah, don't worry about that, it's fine. And then it will appear in your task um, down below your like toolbar I didn't move it but you can then right click on it actually I'm just going to take a snipping tool of it real quickly so you can see um, your RS combat will appear like that so that's how you can tell that it is running um, you can right click on it to exit if you when you want to close the program you can do it or you can just hit X up here either is up to you so this is the basic thing and this is um, how to get to it. So obviously if you want to check that your RSK is calibrated, you hit this thing called calibration. Okay, so I just need to change my logout one, so now I won't go to logout because F10 is also my stop recording for Camtasia. So I'm just gonna, so you can save all your configurations from this configuration tab. And it's a bit easier than editing it in the uh, config file. But for the first time you do it, it's better off doing it in the config file. You should be able to open up the exe fine and change it from here. But sometimes people try running the exe straight away without doing it. And it then um, has a little bit of a problem with um, running it. 
So I'm just going to save. Now I'm going to calibrate it. Now we'll switch to all the tabs, fine. So then you'll get a command prompt or a little update down the bottom of the screen. It says RSK has finished calibrating like this. So now you know your screen is good to go and ready to do it. So I'll just walk you through how to do a very simple um, switcher. So I'm just going to get up a bog standard six way hybrid switch like so. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into bindings and record. So these are the tabs you have. You have your main tab, bind actions, configuration, bindings and record. So to start with we have no records made so we want to make a record of our switch that we want to do. So I'm just going to go from inventory and I'm going to call this Melly and then you'll be prompted with this thing. You click on the items in the order you want them to appear. So say I go for that one and then I hit record. Now, see here, we already have a melee preset here. Now if I want to make a switch, I go, okay, preset, I want to add melee, so I put melee across. Then, say I want to add prayer, I'm going to add, I'm going to add piety, so when I see piety, I'm going to add piety across. And that's all I want. So I'm just going to set a key for it as key number one. And we're going to save. Now, if I move to here and I press key number one, it will do the switch as required. Like so. so now I'm going to show you one more time and I'm going to make a mage switch. So we come back into record here do from inventory. I'm going to call this mage. And then I'm going to do my mage switch as follows. I'm going to record that. So now you can see I have two presets, mage and melee. And now I'm going to go into actions again. So I'm going to hit presets mage, move it across. And this time I'm going to add the prayer, well I don't have Aubrey unlocked, but uh, say Mystic might. Um, and then I also want to add Ancient Spells. Now, depending on your client that you're using, you are very likely that you can add in Ice Barrage straight away, but you might want to add a little weight. So I'm just going to show you how to add a weight before you just add in a weight sleep, so you can sleep for 50 milliseconds, so I'm going to add that across. Then I'm going to do Ancient Spells, and I'm going to do Ice Barrage, I'm going to add that across, and I'm going to bind this to key number 2. Let's save that, move it out of the way, so now when I press key number 2, you see here it selected the Ice Barrage. So if we just go out into the wilderness, now I'm going to press my key to switch. And you can see there that the ice barrage was ready to attack, like so. Then I can press my one switch and move back into attack. Move away, press my other switch. And if I actually clicked in there, it would have um, attacked him. I just clicked on the floor. So yeah, that's how a basic switch works. And I'm not trying to pretend I'm a good PK or grid that you can do it but it does work and that's how you do a basic one and I'll walk you through it more in more detailed tutorials later.